Ah, time to make my commute to work. Sure hope the driveway conditions are okay. Made it. Little bit of light dusting falling down here today, but we got an LP truck back there filling the uh, tank for the house. We got an electrician working in back, wiring up one of the new conveyors. And we're hauling corn down to the ethanol plant. So I'm waiting for dad to get back with the truck. I'll reload that truck and take off. Hopefully the roads are pretty good. I'm sure they're sloppy. These empty trucks really don't love ice on the road covered in a light dusting of snow so they don't do well when they're empty so we're backing down under the auger instead of going around the loop because i don't think this truck would make it uphill empty even even this slight little hill what do you think anna i mean you've seen empty trucks anna what do you think well uh, no comment that's pretty close So we've pulled five or six loads out of this bin. I'm gonna climb up here, but the thing to watch, which you can't do much about, standing where I'm at, if this comes down, I'll die. So I guess I'm just really hoping that if I'm standing here, it goes over my head. These gotta be OSHA approved steps covered in ice chunks, right? Oh shoot, that's not as thick as I was thinking. Okay. The lid on this one is no good. Hasn't been for a long time. I see some birds. The main thing I'm looking for, which I'm not gonna climb in there right now since we're pulling out of it, I wanna make sure there's not a column built up in the center. If you get a column built up in the center, what that probably means is you've got either high moisture or dirty corn, dirty corn in the middle that sort of fused together. It got hot, it ended up together, might be starting to rot, that's a bad thing. That's why we try and pull the centers out of these bins as we're filling them during harvest to prevent that from happening. This one looks good, all good. As long as I'm up here, I better set the GoPro up for a time lapse, right? Now that bin there has got some heavier stuff on it, so standing right there is not a good idea until we get a sunny day and that stuff all comes down. There's probably a lot of farmers looking at this truck laughing because it looks so overloaded. But this corn, because it was so wet when we took it out and never got time to fully mature, is 50 pound test weight. So that means it's a light corn. That truck's not nearly as heavy as it actually looks. Yeah, that's probably good. What kind of an idiot decides he's gotta put a GoPro up here just for a time lapse? wondering why we're pulling from the back bin instead of going out through the grain lake it's because that back bin didn't get cored the same way as the rest of these bins meaning we didn't get as much pulled out of the center so we want to get that cleaned out because the center is where all the fines fall and especially when you have poor quality corn like we had this year you get a lot more fines and it will tend to get hot spots or rotten spots better so we pull that center out it's a lot better for the corn you know we have the aeration fans going everything is frozen now at this point but we want to make sure that we pull that center out because that's our highest risk, our highest potential of, of having bad corn. So off the Chippewa Valley Ethanol Company we go. I've had 
this plant on a few of my different videos. I actually took a tour of it about two years ago now, I guess it's been. If you're interested in that, go check that out where we toured this ethanol plant and kind of got to see the process of how it works and what actually goes on here. Here we go. Just a smidgen heavy, nothing to worry about. You know, without scales when we load at home, it's pretty tough to get every load the same, so we're good. Dump the airbags. Open the slimy traps up. I gotta stop in the office for just a minute here. There we go. It was a quick meeting. Now we pull onto the outbound scale, grab our outbound weight, and the slip. This gives us all our info here about the load, how heavy it was, how many bushels, the uh, moisture, test weight, FM, everything we need. I'm out, Anna. No worries. Thanks for your help. I'm out, Ditch. It's okay. What up, dog? Five loads. This truck's done five loads since it got washed. Look at all of that clean burning renewable energy. You know, no beaches have ever been closed due to an ethanol spill. Just saying. Time for a late lunch. Hopefully they got something warm on the... Why is it so blurry? Well, that isn't good. Never like to see red over here. That sounds good, we'll be in touch. Look at this thing. This thing is just nasty. Well, that'll fill this contract. Probably not much. It, I mean, I would have thought if it was going to drip off out here that it, it would have fallen off going down the road. And some of it on the front of the trailer did, but not really underneath. We'll just park this sloppy beast in the shed here and see what happens. A mess. That's what's going to happen. It's going to make a mess. This thing is a complete disaster. But you guys are in luck because I've set up the GoPro here to take a time lapse as it melts off. You, so you, I like how I made this you heard signal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you heard him hope you everybody does. This is how you inseminate a bird. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you sort them out. You bring them to the chute. They go up the chute. One guy grabs the bird. You grab it by the leg and the wing. Mm -hmm. The bird beats the hell out of you, slaps you in the face. Yep. And then you, you good morning. You, you put it in the chair. So its legs 
the the chair is like sounds just like my last pap smear. Yeah. <laughs> so their legs oh go in this chair. The bird hangs upside down. Were you hanging upside down? I've never been in front of this. <laughs> that takes a special pap smear swing. <laughs> and then another guy inseminates every single bird. God, you Meanwhile, make this okay. sound terrible. Well, it, it was. Okay. I mean, I'm the, I'm the new work. guy in the farm. I, it's it's the best way I've had it described when I tried it. It's like kicks. At, when if you're I doing tried the inseminating, it. If you're, <laughs> <laughs> I tried. I wasn't successful. <laughs> it's like sitting on a bike and trying to kickstart that bike with each bird because you got to pressurize that bird to get her open her reproductive tract. So try kickstarting two thousand dirt bikes in eight hours. Yeah. yeah. And then Meanwhile, do it the next day. Pressurize the bird? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Sounds a little bit creepy. There's, there's a technique there. 